You have on your tables before you a real live pumpkin. We're filming this in the fall and these pumpkins are available everywhere. I want you to look at it. Look at them. You can reach out and touch it if you like. What's that stuff that you feel on the pumpkin? What's that called? The T word. Texture. It's called texture, exactly. Okay, and now I want you to look at the lines. Take your index finger, put it on the pumpkin on one of those lines, and trace it from top to bottom. Where does it go? Yeah. It goes from top to bottom. What's the name of that thing at the top of the pumpkin where it starts? Uh, yes, Matthew. The stem. It starts at the stem. Where do all the lines start? Everybody? The stem. At the stem, exactly. Okay, now where do the lines end? Let's take a look at the bottom. Where do all the lines end? Oh, yeah. They end at the bottom, don't they? Now let's look at the colors of the pumpkin. What color is the pumpkin? Orange. orange, exactly. But is it just orange? No. There's a little bit of, what's that Y word? Yellow, yellow in there. And probably not so much red, but it's got a lot of yellow and orange, isn't it? Doesn't it? Do you think you could do a pumpkin like that? Yeah. Using what kind of colors? Analogous colors. And what kinds of lines? Curved lines, exactly. All right, boys and girls, now I'm going to demonstrate how you do this. I have selected three analogous colors. There's blue, and there's green, and there's yellow. I'm going to start by creating my pumpkin with the blue. So what I'm going to do now is put a, a, a flat spot on my chalk. So I have a nice wide stroke like that. If you use a real sharp corner of the chalk, it makes a very hard line, and we don't want to have too many hard lines on this. We want just nice, broad strokes. And I'm going to use that pumpkin right there as my model. Now you're thinking, Dr. Allen, you're using blue. Yeah, it's OK. You can make green pumpkins and blue pumpkins and purple pumpkins and red pumpkins, whatever, you kind of, whatever color you want to do. I'm going to, use, I'm going to make mine blue just because I think it's fun. If you want to make an orange pumpkin, that's fine with me too. So, I'm choosing the blue because it's going to contrast well with my yellow color. And I want to make my, my pumpkin the basic, basic shape. It's going to be, I'm going to start with where the stem is. And I'm going to make my first curved line that goes all the way down to here. And then I'm going to come back over here and start another line that starts at the, what's that thing called? Stem. So it starts at the stem. And it goes actually a little higher over here and then down all the way to the bottom of my paper. Now, I see pumpkin beyond the stem. The stem is supposed to be right here. So I have to go back this way and draw the line that I see there. And I see another line that goes this way. Now, do you notice that line didn't go all the way to the bottom, did it? Where does that line go? It goes behind the pumpkin, doesn't it? So if I can't see that line, I'm not drawing it. Now I have another one that comes up this way, and I have another one that goes back this way. So notice how these in the back over here don't go all the way around. Now I'm going to finish the rest of them. I've got a whole bunch of them there. So I'm going to do this and bring it down. And I've got another one that comes over here, and it's going to be a little bit further from the other one. And then I've got one over here that comes out, and they all start where? At the, at the stem. OK. You notice I'm not going to do the coloring book thing where you kind of fill in between the lines. Uh -uh. Every stroke I make with my chalk is going to be a long, what kind of line? Curved. Curved line, exactly. So watch what I do. Keep on going. Lots of them here. And I'm going to just keep going with those curved lines. Does this pumpkin look like, looks like it has form a little bit? Yeah. yeah, it does, doesn't it? OK, now I'm going to give it a little bit more form because I'm going to start adding my, what kind of colors are these? Analogous. Analogous colors, good job. Now I've got to start over here and make sure I've got a nice wide stroke. OK, now I'm going to put this one in. And look at, look at the difference now in the texture. Farther away, and it's filling in. The, the dark blue appears to 
recede a little bit, and the yellow, yellow green, makes it look like it stands out a little more. And of course, I have the yellow of the paper that's working as well. How are we doing so far? Pretty good. Okay. And now I have yellow I'm going to put on top of that. Now, when I look at this, the lights from the room, the top of the room, we see a lot of yellow around the, the top here. Really, really, really light orange right in here. So I'm going to make that lighter on my pumpkin also. That look a little bit lighter up there? Okay, we'll pull some down here too because I see the light on this side a little bit more, so I'm going to put some more out there. But I'm using it mostly at the top because down here, there's not much light, is there? Now, what am I going to do with my stem? Let me do orange and red. What kinds of colors are orange and red? Analogous colors. Analogous colors. So I'm going to put my stem on here. Now the stem, if you look at the stem, you know that it's twisted. And look at the colors of the, of the stem. They're not just green anymore, are they? They're kind of greens and yellows and so on. OK, so I'm going to use analogous colors. And I'm going to start with a stem that has curved lines on it, like this. So now I have my stem on there with a contrasting color. And I have my pumpkin that has, what's this term we're looking for? The illusion of? Oh. Oh. OK, are you ready to try that? Yeah. OK, now, this is what I want you to do carefully. Is first of all, think about the color of pumpkin you want to make. Just think about it. Do you want to go with the traditional orange? Or do you want to get brave and do like what I did and have a really wild, different color looking pumpkin? You choose. But you should have three analogous colors, one that's darker, one in the middle, and one that's light. What I would like you to do is to test your chalk on that strip of colored paper that I gave you. Test your colors on that. See how they show up. Now remember, we're trying to get that nice, wide stroke of chalk. We're not drawing lines like a pencil. We want to have a nice, wide stroke of chalk. Chalk is very fun to work with, but it's also very messy. So look at your fingers. OK, get the clean ones over there. Which is the hand that you draw with? OK, that's the one that's going to get dirty. The other hand is what you hold your paper with. So you hold your paper with the hand you're not drawing with, and then you draw with the hand that you, has the chalk in it. And that will help you keep the, uh, the smudges off of the rest of your paper. OK? Now you have your paper choices. You have your analogous colors. What's missing? The, the curved lines, right? OK. Look at the pumpkins in front of you. Look at the shape of the pumpkin. Look at the lines on the pumpkin. Notice where the stem is. Can you see beyond the stem? like I did a moment ago here, where I had to draw a little bit of the top of the pumpkin. Look at those things first, and then start with the darkest of your three colors. Start with your, the darkest of the three colors, and make the basic outline of your pumpkin, and draw in the main lines that you see on the pumpkin. Now remember, are we going to color in like a coloring book? No. no. Every line that you make has to be a curved line. Which ones have to be curved? Uh, every one of them, exactly. OK, so you may start now. Make, fill your paper. I want, to, I want to see a nice big old pumpkin on there. Ready? Begin. <laughs> 